all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. Please remember these are general readings. Lots of people, lots of messages. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're interested in a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, which means I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift, whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you would like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need and onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the sodalite. Reading number two with the sunstone. Reading number three with the rose quartz. Reading number four with the kunzite. And reading number five with the aventurine. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition will not lead you wrong. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the sodalite. The properties of sodalite are awakening, insight, and inspiration. So those things may resonate with you in some way. Now let's take a look at your yes or no angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now I will shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, Ooh almost dropped some. All right, let's see here. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right. Okay, so we start with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands talks about fighting for what you want. Now, it does say that if you put your energy in, you will be successful, but, um, but you definitely have to fight for what you want. Next, we see the Fool. The Fool is a new beginning where you step into the beginning and sometimes without even looking. You know, sometimes it's just kind of a jump in style beginning. Next, we see the Devil. The Devil talks about very stuck energy. It can represent um, love triangles. It can represent addictions. It doesn't have to be a big bad addiction. It could be an addiction to sugar or to social media or something like that. Next, we have the Six of Wands. So that is celebrating victory. So there is victory being celebrated. You've got that Seven of Wands where you're fighting for what you want, and then you do succeed with the Six of Wands. Next, we see the Chariot. The Chariot is, it's about you moving forward and, you know, getting, you know, fast moving energy through your determination, but in this particular deck, it's drawn with the fa the horses facing away from each other, so there may be some blockage to you moving forward. And then topping everything off, we have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles talks about kind of walking the tightrope financially, trying to figure out how you're gonna pay your bills, where you're gonna live, who you're gonna live with, making those financial decisions and really walking that tightrope, trying to budget the money that you do have. 
All right, so with the devil in here and the chariot being drawn the way it is, I feel like the answer is going to be most likely no. Now, with the success and the six of wands, I think that some of you, however you asked your question, no is a very positive answer for you. So some of you celebrating the fact that it's no, but with the major arcana kind of outweighing everything else, the um the answer is going to be most likely no to whatever you ask tarot now let's take a look at your situations angels spirit guides ancestors please show us the situations of group number one thank you thank you thank you all right so we start with justice which talks about balance and fairness the empress okay you guys have a lot of major arcana you guys are going through major situations the empress is about foundational energy it's the motherhood card it's about having your financial needs met so those of you that are struggling with this two of coins and the figuring out how you're going to spend your money you're going to be stepping into abundance soon Next, we have the Queen of Coins. Yes, so the Queen of Coins, it can represent significant abundance, but it's really an energy. She represents either you or someone in the situation with you, but it's a very loving, generous, wants to share what she has energy. Now, finally, the King of Swords. The King of Swords represents the challenges and tests that you've been going through. Just like the Queen, it can also represent a person, someone very intelligent, very action-oriented, you know, figures things out, gets things done. But the King of Swords, it can also represent challenges. And I think that a lot of you are going through significant challenges right now. And this says that you have the intelligence and the strategy and the capability of moving through what it is that challenges you so you will get there now let's take a look at the angel oracle angels for group number one please harmony okay so the angels trying to bring harmony into your realm you're being asked to live in harmony with everyone and everything around you now let's see the king of swords with moonology what is there to add to the king of swords here a win-win outcome is forecast that's what i was saying yeah you're going through challenges but you've got everything you need to be able to overcome them you've got this you will make it through and a win-win outcome is forecast you're going to succeed in the end now Balance spirituality and practicality for justice. So again, we've got balance and balance. It is important to focus on the balance. And as far as the spirituality and practicality, make sure that you're taking care of the spiritual side of things. You're meditating. You're talking to your guides. You're following your path and the practical side of things. You're, you know, paying your bills. You're, you know, doing the things that you need to do to stay healthy, to, you know, take care of yourself. You're dealing with both sides of the coin. Now, let's take a look at the Empress with Queen of the Moon. What is there to add to the Empress here? Creation. Okay, so you are creating those stable foundations right now, guys. You are, and this creation is manifestation. See how there's like business, uh, not business, building plans, and it's coming from her mind. Like you are creating your foundation. Manifest what you want. Focus your intention and manifest the foundation that you want in your life, especially with regards to your abundance. Now, speaking of the queen of coins and abundance nourishment okay so there is abundance coming in you are going to be taken care of and nourished like the foundational needs are here you've got water you've got food you've got you know greenery and you know, nature there is nourishment for you and your financial needs are going to take care of your earthly your financial gains and your abundance coming in are going to take care of your earthly needs now let's see the spell casting oracle for the transparent tarot like i said the answer is most likely no i know there's some positive things in there but the negative things kind of outweigh the positive ones so the answer is most likely no and you get friendship okay 
So whatever you asked, the like I said, the answer's most likely no. Friendship is playing a part in it. So some of you I, I know are very, very happy because you got the six of wands, which is victory. So some of you very happy with that. Friendship is coming in to support whatever you're asking about. And for those of you that were hoping for a yes, your the friendships that you have will help you deal with the situations of the answer being no. Now, let's take a look at your starseed cards. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number one, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, there we go. We start with blue star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. Next, you get vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. And finally, advancement. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. Yes, follow your heart. It will not lead you wrong. Your heart is going to lead you down your path. All right, that is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the sunstone. All right, the sunstone has the properties of fulfillment, motivation, and contentment. So those things may resonate with you in some way or another. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I will shuffle until the deck feels ready, then I'll cut, and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. That's pretty good, so. All right, so we start with the King of Swords. The King of Swords, it can represent a person. If it represents a person, it is someone very intelligent, um, very action oriented. It can also represent having some challenges and tests come into your realm. These could be even significant challenges and tests, but you have the strategy and intelligence to work your way through them. Next, we see the lovers. The lovers is the soulmate connection. Um, soulmates don't have to be romantic, but normally the lovers is kind of a romantic soulmate connection. Next, we see the page of cups. The page of cups is fun and socializing. That is followed by the queen of swords. The queen of swords is also very action oriented, very intelligent, just like the king. She is very, very protective, a very protective energy, and she also doesn't mince words. She says what she means and, you know, sometimes lacks a little bit of tact in doing so. Next, we have death coming out. Death is the end of something for the start of something new, but something definitely coming to an end, and that, to top everything off, we have the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak. Okay, so with uh, the king and queen pair of swords in there, plus the three of swords and the death card, it does look like the answer to your question is probably going to be no. So the answer to your question, probably no. Now let's take a look at your situations. All right, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations for group number two. All right, Eight of Swords, so dealing with some stuck energy. 
Five of Cups, looking at what you've lost versus looking at what you still have. Seven of Cups, that talks about you having options, but, and see even more options coming your way, but you need to be patient and choose what's right for you. And then the Five of Coins, that's fear with regards to money or fear with regards to loneliness. You guys are dealing with some really um, difficult energy to traverse. I'm not surprised we started with the King of Swords. There's some challenges here for sure. But you guys can do this. You've got this. And we'll get Oracle for everything to see kind of what advice there is to help you move through it. Now, let's see the Angel deck for Oracle. Angels, for group number two, whatever's in their best benefit. Face your challenges. All right, yeah, those challenges and tests, you're going to have to face them. You're going to have to deal with them. But see how the angel is behind him? Like, he's getting ready to cross the rickety bridge. But the angel's there, you know, ready to support and provide assistance. And that's how your guides are with you. You are, you have support. So you can do this. You can get through whatever challenge is facing you. Now, let's use Moonology for the Fives, and we'll start with the Five of Cups. What is there for the Five of Cups? Hold your vision. Okay, so as you look at things, you, you have to hold your vision on what it is you desire, on the things that you're grateful for, on gratitude in general. Don't let yourself slip into this Five of Cups energy where you're focused on your loss. You have to really hold your vision on your goal. You will get there. You are capable of getting there. Now, let's see the Five of Coins. What is there to add to the Five of Coins here? Show the world the real you. All right, the Five of Coins is about fear around money. It's also about fear of loneliness. So fear around money, fear of loneliness. Showing the world who you truly are is going to help you deal with that. Um, this could be, you know, something that might have a positive effect on your finances, letting people see who you are, really being true to yourself. It could also have a positive effect on any loneliness you might be dealing with. You might meet someone, make friends, make more than friends, show the world who you really are. It's going to kind of take you out of these situations where you're dealing with that five of coins energy. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon. I want to see Queen of the Moon for the Eight of Swords. What is there for the Eight of Swords here? Angels, Spirit, Guides, Ancestors. What is there to help them with the Eight of Swords? Fruition. Okay. So, if you really put your energy in, you're going to move out of the stuck energy, okay? I know that you guys feel like you're stuck in the situation that you're in right now. You've got heartbreak, you've got challenges, you got the death card. Things are going to end. This stuck energy could be part of what ends. You got fruition coming out to clarify it. So you will step out of the stuck energy and into fruition. You will make that transition, but you have to face your challenges and really put the energy in. Now, the Seven of Cups talks about the options that you have and says that there's plenty of options. You need to choose what's right for you. Self-love is part of it. Choose what actually resonates with you. Take care of yourself. Self-love is making sure that your mind and your body are a healthy place for your spirit to live. So take care of you and do what's right for you. Choose the option that resonates with your spirit. Now, let's take a look at the spellcasting oracle for the transparent tarot. What is there for the transparent tarot? Reconciliation. Okay, so things coming back together, things reconciling. The answer to your question was most likely no. It's, uh, it looked like a no, but there is some reconciliation coming from something around your question. So reconciliation playing a part with your question in some way. Now, let's take a look at the little starseed deck, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us whatever... Group number two needs to hear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. So we start with blue star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. 
absolutely it will. So follow your inner compass, your intuition. It's not going to lead you wrong. Next, you get light. Reveal your radiant light to the world. Yes, let your light shine. And finally, you get magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. So say that to yourself however many times you need to till you believe it. All right, that is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the Rose Quartz. All right, Rose Quartz properties are love, joy, and connection. So those may resonate with you or your question in some way. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I will shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. All right, let's see here. Once more. There we go. Okay, look at this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands talks about a new beginning that you're really passionate about, stepping into your passions in this new beginning. Next, we see the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups can talk about dealing with a little bit of boredom or maybe looking at things not quite the way they are, but the way you wish they were. Next, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is fun and socializing and having fun with friends and just good times like that. Next, we have the Phoenix. The Phoenix talks, uh, the Phoenix is judgment. So it's a second chance rising from the ashes like the Phoenix, beautiful second chance, something positive in that second chance. Then we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is doors opening. It is the marriage card. Um, so, you know, getting married and making commitments to things, to situations, but commitments that are very positive in nature. And then topping everything off, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords says that the challenges and tests that you're dealing with are not going to last that long. You're going to move through them. You're going to work your way through them and get past them. All right, this looks like a yes to whatever you asked Tarot. Now let's take a look at your situations, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number three. Ooh, the Hierophant, another marriage card. Some of you probably getting married or asking about getting married because you got the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. Um, very positive energy. This doesn't have to be marriage either. It can also be like, um, it can be foundational things like going back to school, um, religion even. So very foundational things happening. Next, we see the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords can represent you or someone you're dealing with. She's very protective, very intelligent, very action-oriented, a little bit sharp-tongued. So, you know, maybe says things without thinking or maybe, not, maybe says exactly what she means, really. Not necessarily without thinking, but says exactly what she means without any kind of concern for tact. So, she could represent, you know, someone you're dealing with and that kind of energy, the wheel. The wheel is luck and fate turning in your favor. So that's beautiful. And the six of cups. The six of cups talks about looking back, seeing how much you've grown, seeing how far you've come. That is also wonderful energy. Now let's pull in the oracle. Angels for group number three, whatever's in their best benefit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Gratitude. Yes, you've got to remember gratitude. Gratitude in everything. There is always something to be grateful for, so do not forget gratitude. Now, let's see what there is to add to the Queen of Swords. What is there for the Queen of Swords here? You are very close to achieving your goal. All right, so the Queen of Swords is very action-oriented. You have taken the actions that you need to to get very close to your goal. You're almost there. So just keep persevering, keep following that action plan, and you will achieve whatever it is you're hoping to achieve. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon for that Six of Cups. What is there for the Six of Cups here? Focus. Okay, so you're being told to focus on your growth. You have grown. You've come so far from where you were. You've made such progress. You need to focus on the progress that you've made and continuing to progress for sure. But the progress you've made, really, you know, give yourself credit for that. Now, the wheel growth. Okay. Yeah, no. So we got growth here. We got growth here. Focus on your growth. You are growing and growing. Sometimes there's bumps. So that's why you've got the, uh, knight of swords, you know, the, the bumps in the road, you're going to get past them. You're going to get through whatever challenge there is. This is luck and fate turning in your favor and causing growth for you. So this is a super growth period and you're being asked to focus on that growth. Now, let's take a look at the Spellcasting Oracle for the Hierophant. What is there for the Hierophant here? Psychic abilities. I like it. Okay, so the Hierophant is foundational things. Your guides are trying to connect with you on a foundational level. They are answering your requests for signs. If you're not making requests for signs, you should and your guides will answer you. Everyone has abilities. We all have abilities. We all have the capability of opening our third eye. We all have these psychic abilities that we can tap into. Now, not everyone functions the same way, but we all have abilities to communicate with our guides. So if you're already doing that, it's foundational. You're making foundational growth, and that's fantastic. If you're not already doing that, it's time to start. So start by having conversations with them, asking them questions. They'll answer through tarot readings. They'll answer through angel numbers. They'll answer through weird coincidence signs that just couldn't be anything but a sign. So your psychic abilities are strengthening, and it is foundational for you. Now, transparent tarot willpower. Okay. So you got a yes to whatever you asked. Your willpower is going to play a factor in your question. So willpower playing a factor, but you got a yes. Now let's take a look at the starseed deck for group number three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's funny that the meditation card came out and landed on psychic abilities. I think you guys need to meditate because your abilities are really, you know, stepping up. All right. So uh, we're going to start with the meditation. So meditation, take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. That's going to help you step into these abilities and your guides are asking to make that connection with you. You get gratitude again, so focus on gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. So gratitude for everything. And then finally, dreams. The universe speaks to you through your dreams. That's another psychic ability. So your dreams talking to you, pay attention. All right, that is all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the Kunzite. All right, Kunzite properties are love, affection, and harmony. So those aspects may resonate with you or with your question in some way. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. 
please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I will shuffle until the deck feels ready, then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, so let's see here once more. All right, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. So we start off with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a beautiful energy. It is love, compassionate love. It's, it's a really beautiful energy. Next, we have our Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles can talk about fear around money or fear of loneliness. Next, we have the Fool. So something beginning, a new start, something beginning. It's a significant beginning because it's major arcana. And sometimes it's a jump in without looking style beginning. Now, with that beginning comes some form of ending because the Ten of Swords is next. And that is a beginning. And it is a significant, be I mean, it's, a, it's an ending. And it is a significant ending. It is a kind of the door is shut. It's over done ending. It can even leave you feeling a little bit stabbed in the back. But don't worry because you got that full beginning right there. Now next we have the moon. The moon can talk about fear around decisions. It also talks about your guides talking to you through your dreams. And it asks that you pay attention to your dreams because your guides are communicating that way. And then topping everything off, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's a dream come true. So stepping into something that you really feel is a dream come true. Okay, so this, it, it's kind of, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of difficult energy with the Five of Pentacles. So people worrying about their finances and the Ten of Swords, you know, something ending. However, we've got that King of Cups, which is genuine, true, you know, compassionate love. And it's, you know, and that's how we start. And we end with the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. And you've got the Fool tucked in there as well, which is a brand new beginning. So this looks like the answer to your question is most likely yes. Not a you know, solid, strong yes, but a most likely yes. So kind of looks like it will tend that way, probably yes. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number four. Thank you, thank you. All right, death, something is ending. Like I said, that Ten of Swords, something's ending to bring in something new. Significant ending, bringing in a significant beginning. King of Coins, I like it. The King of Coins is beautiful energy. Um, it is. It, it can represent abundance coming in for sure. If it represents a person, this is a person who wants to take care of the people around them, wants to be the person that people come to when they have an issue so that they can take care of it. It can represent you or someone you're dealing with, but it is lovely energy. We get the high priestess next. Your intuition functioning at a very high level. Follow that intuition. Pay attention to your intuition. Your guides are talking to you again with the, the moon and the talking to you in your dreams. They could be communicating that way. They are communicating with you in some way. So pay attention. And then the Ace of Wands. That new beginning is going to have your passions all wrapped up in it. So a very passionate new beginning with the Fool and the beginning that comes from the Death card. All right, now let's see Oracle for everything. We'll start with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number four, please. Let go. All right, whatever is ending, you've got to let it go. It is ending, it's done, it's over. Let it go. Move into the beautiful, new, passionate beginning. Now, let's see Moonology for death. What is there to add to this death card? 
bring love into the situation. Okay, so whatever is ending and whatever's beginning, make sure that love is guiding you. Make sure that love and compassionate love, like it doesn't have to be romantic love. Love can be this wonderful compassionate love that you're seeing out of the King of Cups. It is something that needs to be in the situation. Whatever's ending, whatever's beginning, love can guide you through it. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon, and I'm going to do the Ace of Wands. What is there to add to this Ace of Wands out of Queen of the Moon? The unexpected. All right, beautiful. So there is going to be an unexpected passion to this beginning. It's going to have wonderful, unexpected passion wrapped up in it, and that is sometimes the best kind of passion because it's something that you don't expect and then you find yourself super into. Now, king of coins, please. The masculine. Okay, so this is a beautiful energy. It could represent a person that's coming into your realm. Very strong masculine energy. Wants to take care of everyone. Also action-oriented. So if this represents abundance coming in for you, especially if you asked about abundance coming in, there's some kind of action you need to take to make it happen. Now, let's take a look at the spell casting oracle for the high priestess. What is there to add to the high priestess here? Courage. Absolutely. Have the courage to talk to your guides. Have the courage to follow your intuition. It takes courage to follow your intuition, but you can do it. Your guides are talking to you. Your intuition is on point. So let your courage rise up and guide you that way. Now the transparent tarot. Happiness. Beautiful. All right. So this is leading to your happiness. Whatever you asked about, the answer being most likely yes or probably yes is going to lead to your happiness. So that is wonderful news. Now, let's take a look at the little starseed deck. Angels. Oh, whoa, something flipped over. Thank you. All right. Two and three. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to start with love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. Absolutely bring love into the situation. Let love guide you. You also get truth. See your light. Know your power. Have the courage, courage to walk your truth. And finally, Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. So again, let love guide you. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the Aventurine. All right, the properties of Aventurine are luck, prosperity, and fulfillment. So that may resonate with you or with your question in some way. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I will shuffle until the deck feels ready, then I'll cut, and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. So let's see here once more. All right, here we go. And we'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start off with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles talks about kind of walking that financial tightrope, figuring out how you're going to spend your money, you know, how you're going to pay your bills, how you're going to make ends meet. Next, we have the star. That is a gift from the divine. That is beautiful energy. Absolutely beautiful. A gift from the divine healing. That leads us right into the queen of pentacles. 
the Queen of Pentacles isn't always necessarily super abundant, but sometimes she is. And she has a generosity. She shares with everyone around her. She shares what she has, whatever that is. It can signal that abundance is coming in to see the Queen of Pentacles in your reading, though. And to top everything off, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So lots of Pentacles coming out. The Nine of Pentacles talks about needing to do something luxurious, to treat yourself to a little bit of luxury. And I'm not suggesting you break the bank, but treat yourself to a little bit of luxury to bring in that abundance you desire. All right, this looks like a yes to whatever you asked Tarot about. And I'm sure many of you probably asked money questions because there's coins, coins, or pentacles, which is the same thing. All right, now angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so just to make sure everybody heard, this is a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. Now let's look at your situations. Knight of Wands, that's a whirlwind romance. That is awesome. The world, so stepping into completion. Beautiful energy, guys. Eight of Cups, so something is ending, but it leads you right into something that's even better than what ends and the four of coins. So stepping into those stable financial foundations, coming out of that two of coins energy, stepping into the four of coins energy. But with the four of coins, it does talk about not clinging to your money. You can get into a lack mindset where even if your finances are stable, you just kind of penny pinch everything. That lack mindset can actually have an effect on your finances. So make sure that that's not what you're doing. Treat yourself to a little bit of luxury. It's going to help that abundance flow in more freely. Now, let's take a look at Oracle. So, angels, for the best benefit of group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be content. Absolutely. You have to be content with what you have. You have to be grateful for what you have. And it looks like you guys have lots of things to be grateful for and to be content with. So, be content in whatever situation you're in, you can always desire more. We all have desires of things that we want, things that we hope to step into, but be content with what you have. There is something to be said for that. Now, let's see the four of coins. What is there to add to the four of coins here? Your dreams need a practical plan. All right, so you have these financial career dreams that you want to step into. You need to have a practical plan to take these stable foundations and move forward. Also, with you know whatever it is as far as your uh, a lack mindset, whatever it is that you spend your money on to you know treat yourself to some kind of luxury, there needs to be a plan behind that as well. So make sure that you're not giving up on your dreams. Make sure that your dreams have plans and make sure that you have whatever plan is necessary to break down any negative money mindsets you may have. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon for this Eight of Cups. What is there to add to the Eight of Cups here? Growth. Okay, so something is ending to make way for something new that's bigger and better and brighter, and it is for your growth. So just relax. Growth is not always easy. Sometimes there's growing pains, but you got this. And it is going to bring the whatever ends is going to bring in something better. Now, the Knight of Wands beauty, whatever this whirlwind falling in love feeling is. It has beauty attached to it. So it's beautiful, wonderful energy. I'm so happy for you. If you're falling in love with a person, then that's fantastic. If you're falling in love with a career, then that's wonderful as well. But it is it is absolutely beautiful energy. Now, let's see the spell casting oracle for the world. What is there to add to the world here? Boundaries. All right. So completion in the world. And this boundaries card, you, one, it's reminding you to set those good, healthy boundaries so that nobody walks all over your boundaries. But two, it's also about breaking through your boundaries, breaking through that glass ceiling, breaking through the boundaries, remembering that you are infinite and magical and can do whatever it is you desire. Now, transparent tarot. 
beauty. You've got beauty twice. And when I see this beauty card, it makes me remember to remind you that you in fact are beautiful. Okay. Just the way you are. You don't have to change for anybody. And I'm not saying you can't change your hair or your makeup or whatever it is you do. You know, we all change our style from here to there and whatnot to refresh. But I, I know that there may be some of you that don't realize that you are actually beautiful. You are beautiful just the way you are. Your spirit is beautiful. Your body is beautiful. It's made exactly how it's supposed to be made. So remember that you are beautiful and look in the mirror and tell yourself so. Now let's see the little star seed deck. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number five, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, you know, we'll take, we'll take them. All right, so we're gonna start with these up here because they're in the way and knocking everything over. All right, so we're gonna start with transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine, absolutely. Next, you get ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. You got this, that's what I've been saying, you got this. You also get celebrations. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. It's kind of funny this goes with your growth because you really are achieving things and that's why something is ending to bring in that new beginning. And then finally, patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So yes, your dreams need a practical plan, but you also have to be patient as you kind of step into realizing them. All right, that is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.